Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Hey, welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark. I'm in the studio with Steve. We're talking Final Cut Pro 10. And in particular, we're going to do something smart today. I yeah, we're going to so talk I mean, about smart collections again. Smart, love smart collections. Love them. I mean, to me, they're the best things about uh, working in the event library in Final Cut Pro because it's built-in intelligence to yes. automatically, well, it's like your assistant editor. It'll actually do things for you. It takes you. keyword collections to just a whole nother level. Uh, yeah, in fact, way beyond keyword collections. So we've already... We, we already talked about what they are, but you're going to do something different with them? Yeah, in fact, let me let me just define what a smart collection is okay. for those people who are new that don't, don't know. So those who do know, please bear with me. But basically, a smart collection is a collection, to be sure, a collection of clips or media based on a defined set of rules. So in other words, that rule could be um, Photoshop files. A rule could be only audio. A rule could be ratings. You, It could be a number of, of rules. To or, or clips that you've added keywords to. That's right. right? Or and a, all those rules together. The beauty of a smart like, collection is that when a clip comes into an event, if there's a smart collection there that has certain rules applied, those clips will automatically go there. Throw it in there. Just throw it yeah. in there automatically. I make I make smart collections for multicam clips. Every time I make a multicam, it boom goes right into that. Well, smart well, here's what's great about today's trip. And by the way, I got this tip from um, somebody uh, online, and uh, they thought this is this is their workflow. And okay. I, I started playing with the workflow. And why, why haven't I been doing this? Yeah. This is a, this is really great. Awesome. Um, so I'm calling this smart collection template events. I don't want to create the same darn smart collections every single time I create an event. Oh, that's so, true. Because I use I constantly recreate that um, multicam smart collections or compact clip constant, smart collections. Constant. So we'll, let's look at a way you'll never have to do that again. Great. Okay. okay. So so what I do is I'm going to go to the drive which I want to create the event. So I'm just, I'm just going to create a essentially a dummy event. I'm going to go to do. Uh, to the top level drive, so I'm going to okay. zoom in here. So I'm at the top level drive here. So it just happens to be a unique, unique icon of you, but this is a connected drive to this computer Correct. in your event library, right. and you've got a bunch of events in there already. Already. Okay. But now I'm going to go in here and just choose new event. New event. Okay. And I have this new event. I'm going to call this smart. I'm going to call this smart. Can't spell this morning. Smart collection. I don't even need to put the event on it. I, I know what okay. that is. So it's smart collection okay. or collections. Now, um, what I'll do is create a bunch of smart collections for this event. Now, you can see the shortcut there is uh, Option Command N. So what yep. I'll do is just select it and set Option Command N, two, three, four, five, six, something like that. Okay. Okay. And then I, I'm going to go ahead and start modifying these. So the first one I'm, I want to, I, I do this all the time. I use compound clips. You use compound yes. clips. So yes. that's something that. Uh, it's it's fairly common when you're deciding what compound excuse me smart collections you want to use you want to use the ones that you're, you, you find think you're going to use repeatedly exactly you think use repeatedly there's certain smart collections that will be specific to an event because they're based on keywords for that particular shoot or something but this is more generic stuff that you want to use over and over again exactly so but there's something with keywords I want to talk about show you a little bit okay later. so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in compound. Compound. Challenging. <laughs> I don't know why. I found clips, okay? Okay. All right, so there's the first one. And I'm going to just go ahead and edit it. To open this up. Because yeah, right up. now it doesn't know what to do. Right, and that little uh, window is over here hiding. So just so I can stay zoomed in because yeah. it's nice, right so I'm there. just going to do this. Okay. So um, I'm going to set the rule for this. So yeah. over here I'm going to say, you know, clip type. Yep. And I'm going to go down here. I'm going to choose compound. compound clip. Done. Okay, go to this next one. Uh, let's call this um, keyword. Keyword rated. You know, okay. okay. So open that up. It's up. And I'm going to just down here and I want keywords. Keywords. And I want uh, ratings. Now, simply here, here, there aren't any keywords because there aren't any, there, there aren't any keywords an, associated with event. event. But you'll yeah. see what's going to happen in a moment. Okay. When I, well, just stay tuned. Okay. okay so, 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 but I, this, this filter basically okay. says include any keywords, any clip that has a keyword assigned that also has a rating. That also has a rating. Okay. And that's something, that is that's, a smart. That is a favorite rating. That's a favorite, right. And that's something I use all the time as a smart okay. collection. Yeah. Uh, really useful, you'll see why here. Okay. And, and then let's call this one, um, let's see, multi-cam rated. Uh, this okay. is one I use all the time. Uh -huh. If you watched our how to build a promo in four day tutorial, right. which, is, which is online now, you can get it. This is the I, I, this is one I used exactly. in there. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna create, uh, I'm gonna go to clip type, and I say multi-cam so multi clip. Yeah. I'm gonna add a ratings keyword. 
And just close that one up. That's a favorite. Okay. Because right. if you don't do this, you create a multicam clip, it can just disappear. Just disappear. Right? I mean, it shows up at first because it's selected, but uh -huh. then it's, it can be hard to browse through. And this way, automatically, all your multicam clips right. will show up in that event, right. in that uh, keyword collection. So this one, I'm going to call this one's gonna, this one's a little bit different. I'm going to say music. Okay, what? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it'd be nice to, when music came in, it always showed up there. Well, this is, this, this is pretty cool. How? Well, watch. Okay, let me see. I don't know where you're going with this. Let's oh. see. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to, uh, what was How I going to do? I'm going to go to clip type. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to choose, oh, what? wrong. Uh, uh, media type. Yeah, media type. Thank you. Media type. Uh -huh. And I'm going to choose audio, audio only. only. But that's, okay. You don't want to just leave it there because it'll just throw all audio in there. Anything, it's audio only. Yeah, you some, want could, music. Could it could be sound effects. So how is it going to know? How's it going to tell music from other audio only? I'm glad he's asking. It's <laughs> yeah. very good question. I seriously it's don't a know. Really good question. Rule? Yeah. Rolls. Oh. Look. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. Okay. So as long as the audio clip came in tagged as music. Yeah. Yeah. Which more or, or if you tagged it as music, in which a you should be doing that, you yeah. should be tagging, you should be tagging all your audio okay. as the appropriate roles. Yeah. That's just something you should be doing as they come in. Music, um, dialogue, sound effects. Right, and I normally do that. Yeah. So I've set it up so that this has a two criteria: audio only, and anything's been tagged as music will automatically show up in that. Cool. That's all right. cool. Okay. All right. Um, let's see here. Oh, this is one I use all the time. So let's go ahead and here and call this one Photoshop. I mean, I have bring all kinds of layered graphics in. Open this up, and we'll just go clip type, and we'll do layered, layered graphic. graphic. Okay. And oh, and there's another one that I use that I find you really useful, and it's called um, rejected clips. So I, because well, let me back up a second. Okay. And when you when you reject a clip, when you select yeah. it and yeah. you reject it, and you just it, hit delete. Right. It well, you have to go, you have to yeah. go up to this filter, the filter menu. menu to and check, I hate that it. because yeah. I'm like. I forget. Show me yeah, clips. you're always having to do this. Yeah. Don't want to do that. I, I just want. So you like to leave that at hide rejected, and actually leave it on all clips. Yeah, all clips. Yeah. Or hide rejected. You because leave, leave if it, there. it was on hide rejected and then you chose that smart collection, wouldn't it still not show anything because it's hiding the rejected ones? Let's find out. Okay. All let's right. find out. Okay. So point is, what I'm going to do is called rejected. rejected. I like to have a rejected band, so okay. I have one simple repository yeah, for all your rejects. Of all, all my rejects. Yeah. So I'll go in here and uh, go to. Ratings and we'll set rejected. rejected. Right. Okay. All right. Now here's wow. what the fun. Okay. Here's the fun. Look. So you take a little bit of work to set this up. Set up yeah. All right. It takes a little bit of work. Yeah. So, but and I have every this time you do a project, you got to do this. All okay. Over well, again, right? you you can see this. Remember, look. There's look. Uh, remember the. Here's a little conda. Yeah. And in you watched our four day uh, video, you'll notice there's just just massive amounts of clips that we had to sort through right. and figure. Right. Well. I deli there are some uh, keyword collections already in Smart here. Smart collections. Smart collections uh -huh. already in here. So, in the fact, these are left over from the last time I was playing. So I'm gonna just uh, just remove those really quick. Okay. And pr let's just pretend there's no collections there's no for this collections at all. No collections of any kind. Right? So, right. So what I'm gonna do is grab all these uh, smart collections. You just shift, so shift click. click uh -huh. And I'm gonna just drag these into the Lokonde event. You don't need to option drag. Don't you need just to drag. just drag yeah. them. And it's okay. boom. There they are. Now, so it keeps them there in the original smart collection template, but then it applies them all in that event. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, so okay, let's so see. Let's see. Compound ah, clips. There's the compound clips. Awesome. Okay. Keywords of now. Now the reason why we're not seeing anything. Yeah. Keyword, here's why. Let's yeah. see. This is the beauty. If you open this okay. up. Okay. Um, Oh, you know why? There were no keyword collections created yet, but, uh, okay. but, but, but that's okay. Yeah. It would work if, for example, let's let's just, just take this. A keyword, yeah, yeah, just just signed a, a keyword to it. Um, let's see, go in here and uh, let's call this. Oh, look at vineyard. that. Vineyard. That was already in there. Okay. Okay. Vineyard, so yeah. that has a keyword um, now attached to it, right? Yep. So now you'll see that 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 smart collection still works. If I get a keyword rated and open this up, it's not, look, it's not there. Rated there it yet. is. See. Any keywords you have, you just you oh, can, it shows you, it right there. It, okay. it shows it right there. Okay, so okay, and it's not appearing yet because it's not rated. It's not rated yeah. yet. But so once if you it becomes that, it would show up. But it, yeah, there it goes. There you go. So okay. I find this really handy, even though we had to do a couple of steps. Yeah. But it's not showing up because it hasn't been rated yet. Yeah. But um, all your keywords. It, what I'm saying is, if you have a smart collection of keywords and you drop it into an event that already has a keyword, it will inherit all of those Boom, keywords. It'll take them all. They'll all show up in that. They list will there. all show up there. Yeah, that was my point. And then you can point. turn certain ones on or off. Right. So if we look at music, let's see here. Um, here, um, I'm not, let's see, let's go all clips. And let's make sure, this is one thing you wanna do is, is make sure like- music here? Yeah, this, is, this is, should be music. And uh, if we go to here, clip, and this is what I was talking about um, with roles, you wanna make sure that 
Yeah, that one's not stuff. assigned music. You want to make okay. sure that your clips are assigned. And again, I mentioned this is yeah. something I normally do. Yeah. I want all my musics to have music roles and and, and what have you. So like these are. Um, you go through, these are just voiceover. That's I wouldn't want that. Yeah, it's good enough. So if I go in here, there it is. There it is. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, Photoshop, of course. There's, There's my latest Photoshop. Photoshop. Files. Yep. Um, my rejected clips. I haven't rejected any yet. Essentially, I could go in here and let's go. It's just select uh, this clip here and say delete. And, and just just yeah, you could select it and then just delete or rejected. But now under there. Ah. Uh, it's rejected. Yeah, there it is. There it so, is. Okay. so you were asking about this. So if I say uh, all high, clips, if I say, yeah. If you said high rejected, yeah, it's it, still, it will go away. It's still going to go just hiding them. Yeah. Right. So I'll, that's something that we. Did but, if you, but if you leave it on all clips all the time, that you can see all your rejected in one. Yeah, shot. I like the I look the I, I like the idea of one co rejected collection, so I can quickly. I don't know. Did I? I just want to be able to get back. Well, to this it. whole thing makes so much sense because now once you have this set up, this smart collection event, mm -hmm. you've got that set up. Every time you create a new project, you just drag those things into it, and they're applied. So they're you don't applied. need to create them again. You, don't have you to create them once you're done. So and you just leave as long as that drive is connected. So maybe you make these on your root drive. Because right, well, they don't take any space. What's right? Yeah. What's nice is that smart collection is a, it's an actual event in your library. Right. So you can then share them with friends and family. <laughs> yeah. Put it on a little thumb drive. <laughs> Pass it around. So right. Nobody else has to type it in. Yeah. That's right. Because you could set up a, a unique set for for projects and send them around very easily. Yep. Very easily. Awesome tip. Very good. Yes. Like so it. there it is. Smart collection template or awesome. event template. Anyway. All right. There you go. Thank you. More information on RippleTraining.com. Thanks, Steve. Follow us on Twitter. Oh, yeah. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook. Find us at Ripple Training, rippletraining.com. And thank you for watching Mac Break Studio.